The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this another teaching session. My names are Amen Nuren, a clothing industry teacher. Today I'm going to be your tutor on textile technology from five. Before we start, last, last time I gave you an assignment. So we start first by correcting the last assignment I gave you. So I hope all of you did your assignment. So the assignment was that among your school uniform, why taking why you watching your school uniform, you find out that one of your candidates, that is the pullover you put on your uniform, was made of a cashmere fabric. So the assignment was for you to establish a maintenance code for their cardigan. I hope all of you did the assignment, so together we are going to do the correction. We can look here, this is a, a, curl, a curl label symbols that we have given to our cashmere fabric. Here we have the washing symbol at 40 degrees. This means that your cashmere fabric should be washed at 40 degrees. This is a hand wash. Okay, next we have the bleaching symbol. As you see the, the triangle with the cross, it means that you should not be bleached. It means your cashmere will not be bleached. The next symbol here means that you have to dry it on a shade. Okay? It should be dried on a shade. The next one, we have the iron symbol and the cross there, which means it should not be iron. If you want to iron, it will be better to use a, a damp iron. Okay? a steam iron. After you have iron, the next step is to air it so that, you know, when you use a steam iron, your iron is a bit moist. So you air it before you fold and, and store. So this is an example. You know, when you buy, we talk of care leveling as the assignment I gave you people. When you buy a fabric or a cloth, you always find this piece of cloth attached to your fabric, indicating for indicating you how to take care of that fabric. So this is an example of a care label that you all found on your garment, attached on your garment, giving instructions on how to take care of that garment. I hope all of us we have seen it on our garment. <laughs> So that's it, we are done with the correction. Now we we'll go for our lesson for today. So I'm going to give you people the outline, what we are going to cover today for our lesson. First, we'll look at the learning outcome, the previous knowledge, the real life situation, the, presented, the presentation of the lesson proper, consolidation exercise, and at the end, an assignment will be given. Our learning outcome, what did I expect by the end of this lesson? that you should retain and take back home. You should know the definition of core. You should be able to define core. You should be able to state the processing of core. Be able to state some properties and uses of core fiber. And also be able to give the care and the maintenance of core. Prerequisite. Previous knowledge. I know some of you have seen coconut tree all of us know about the coconut tree. For those who think, those have not seen, this is a coconut tree. But I, I know all of us, we have 
coconuts all over our compound. We then walk in the street. We know about coconuts. Okay. And also we have a knowledge of vegetable fibers. You probably seen cotton, flax, and, and jute. So our lesson on today will be on koi fiber. What is koi fiber? We will start our what point us to this lesson. We will look at the real life situation. Coconut plants are found everywhere in our environment. And the fruit is mostly used, you know, when you talk of coconut, we always see about eating it, like doing the, the coconut sweets, okay? Also using the cosmetic industry, you mean the industry that fabricates oil, we have coconut oil, we have hobby oil that is made of coconut. So when we talk of coconut, that's what we always, in our mind, that's what we think of. But the coconut fiber is something that we can use, that is exploited in other countries, like in India. So they exploit the coconut fiber, not only for the food industry or the cosmetics, but also in the textile industry. So now we ask, how can we contribute as a student to promote the extraction of the coin fiber? Before we start, we must know what is coin. So coin is a coconut fiber that is extracted from the outer husk of the coconut. The outer husk, this is the husk here. So when you take a coconut, when you peel, okay, the fiber is the one that is at the outer husk. So when you have removed the, the hard shell, the outer husk, this one, that's where you possess the coconut fiber, okay? Origin. Before studying so is, uh, a fiber, we must know where it comes from. So we look at the origin. So the name koi comes from kaya, which is a Malay, Malayalam word, which means cut or hope. And it has been used for ancient times. So for long, it has been used. The coconut fiber has been used as hope and, and cordage. The Austronesian people who first domesticated, domesticated coconut used coconut fiber extensively for hopes in building houses. Later, Indian and Arab navigators who sailed the seas of Malaya, China, and Persian Gulf used coconut for their sheep ropes. So we see that the main use of coconut fiber at that time was mostly for the usage of fabrication of ropes and cords. In the United Kingdom, a coin industry was recorded in the 19th century. In 1840, Captain Wiley, Logan and Mr. Thomas Trello founded the carpet firm of Trello and Sons in the Logate Heat Hill, England. This is a firm that was founded in the... Now, the cap, uh, coin was not more like used only for cords and hopes. Now, they founded a firm that transformed the coin fiber into carpet. So that was called a carpet firm, which was mainly for the transformation of coin fiber into carpet. Structure. So look at the structure of coal. We have said coal is found between the hard internal shell and the outer coat of the coconut. This is a coconut. Okay. So they said that the coal fiber is found between. This is the the hard the inner the hard shell. Okay. This is the outer. So it's found between. So yeah. This is where we extract our coconut fiber. I know all of us, when we, when we clean coconut, we see this is the hard part of it. Okay? So this is the outer shell, and here in between, we have our coconut fiber. So after extraction, this is how it will look like. Okay? So I just wanted to show you the image so that you relate of what I'm I'm trying to explain. And they say the individual fibers are narrow and hollow with the thick walls made of cellulose. They are pale when immature, but later become hardened and yellowed as a layer of lignin is deposited on their walls. So this is it. it said that it has this fiber, this walls contains cellulose. And we know what is cellulose. 
Cellulose is those is the chemical found us on vegetable fibers. Vegetable fibers are made out of cellulose, and we heard that when immature, it is pale, that it is white. Okay, then when girls mature, when it becomes ripple, it becomes brownish, it changes the color because of the deposit of linen. Linen also is a chemical found mostly on bass fiber, that is fibers from the back of trees. Okay, so that's most uh, linen, that's linen, it's also a chemical, a, 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 a chemical found on, on mostly on bass fibers, which are also vegetable fibers. Types of koi. There exist two varieties of koi. We have the, the brown koi and the white koi. This is how the brown koi looks like. So the brown koi is harvested for fully ripping mature coconut. What does that mean? When the coconut has been mature and that you can, it's strong, that you can peel and eat. You know, when coconut is mature, you peel when you can eat the fruit of it. Okay, that's where you harvest and this is extracted. So they say the fully matured coconut. That's where the brown, the brown core is gotten from. Mature brown fiber contains more lignin and less cellulose. I always explain what is lignin and cellulose. So understand, as we said, as you get more mature, then it becomes more brown because of the deposit of that lignin. More deposit of linen makes it brownish. So I believe you understand it's why the, the brown one, the mature, the brown core is, is brown because it's getting from the matured coconut. We also have the white core, which is harvested from coconut before they are matured. Okay, before they are ripened, we harvest. And they are white or light brown in color, smoother, finer, and but also weaker. You can see from its color here. You see, this is more whiter than the, the brown fiber, the brown coconut fiber. Processing. How is koi fiber processed? We'll start with the brown koi. How is the brown koi fiber processed? Harvesting. How is it harvested? We all said that it's harvested from mature coconut. As I was saying, when the nutrient layer surrounding the seed is ready to be processed as copper. You know, when you have our kernel, that kernel you can, you can expel oil, coconut oil. So that's where we can harvest our coconut and have our brown fiber. And harvesting can be done. Harvesting, you harvest normally as you harvest your coconuts, okay? Then the next step is the husking. After coconut has been harvested, you have to separate, you have to separate the husk from the hard shell. Okay, this is the husk here. That is that hard shell that have that what that nutritious part that you like to eat like that. Okay, when you remove it, so that process is called the husking. You can do it manually when you cut your coconut, you use your cutlass and you, you, you remove, or you can do it mechanically using a machine. This is a machine for the husking. You can see how the husk have been removed from the hard shell, okay? After the husking, we have wet mining or wet processing. It's a process whereby those fibrous husks after you have this husk, you have removed from the hard shell, you put in the soak in water, you put in a pail of running water for up to a year for it to swell, ferment, and soften. This will make the fiber to be separated. It's like retin. We have thought we have learned of retin that we put it got rotten, it got swollen, and it will be easier for us to extract our, our fiber. After we have after the, the, the the wet mining process, we go now to washing and drying. Okay? The mattress fiber, that is the short fibers, are safe to remove dirt and impurity. They are dried in the sun and packed into two bills. The grizzled one, that is the longer fibers, they are washed in clean water and then dried before being tied into bundle. You can you will see the difference. 
with the metras fiber, that's the short fibers, when after they have washed and dried, we put it in bales, okay, like cotton, because even cotton, they put in bales before they can send that to the, to the industry for various uses. But the longer one, we tie them in form of boom, whistle, that is in bundle, as if we are tying a bundle of boom. You can see from here, okay, this, you see these are the longer fibers that are tied, okay, they are tied, these are the bristles, that is the longer fibers that are tied in bundles. After we have hacking, after we have watched dry hacking, like combing, that is you comb to make it line parallel, to be straightened and remove shorter fibers. Now, our fibers are ready for spinning. We know spinning is twisting, twisting of two or more fibers. So this can be twisted by hands to make hope. Like you can see these mothers here, the action they are doing here, they are spinning, okay, with their hand, okay? Or you can also do it using a spinning machine. Okay, this is spinning done here in a spinning machine, okay? So we spin, we, we spin it to have our hope or our yarns or our cords. You can see these are what is spawn, spawn fibers here. These are spawn yarns here. So from here we have this. Dyeing, you know, is you can add color. Like here they added color. Here is at the fiber stage, okay? When they have not, spinning have not been done. Here is at the yarn stage. They have already spun and we have our course here that we have added color. So you see that after everything you have extracted, you have, you have done everything at the end, you can choose to add color to your, to your fiber. So coconut fiber can also be, be dyed. For the white cord, the process is not different from the, from the brown coil. It's just that the brown coil takes more, than, more time to, to get cotton than the, than, the, than the white coil. So the process is almost the same. You have harvested, and the harvested, we harvest green coconut. Contrary to the brown coil that we're harvesting, but the mature coconut, the one that have been mature. With the white coal, we harvest but the green coconut, the unmatured coconut is harvested. The next step, the husking, as the same process as for the brown coal. Wetting, as the same process for the wet smiling that we saw on the brown coal. It's the same process. You, you put in water, you allow it to, to get hotter, to soften, that it will, it will be facilitated to, to remove your fibers. So this is the process of rotting, okay? It's, it's bacteria that activate rotting. So that is the process of rotting. After rotting, the fiber is beaten with iron rod to separate the long fibers. Then we have washing and drying, okay? You wash your fibers, you dry, and you spin. So when you when these fibers are spun now, they can use the now for different purposes, different uses. You can weave it, okay? You can knit, you know, depending on what you want at the end. After we have seen the process, how coil fiber is processed, we are going to look at the property of coil. What are the property of coil? For the brown coil, it contains high level of lignin. Which, which prevent it from being easily dyed. Okay, we already explained linen and why it contains high level of linen. Contains less cellulose than cotton and flax. It resistance to degradation. That is, do not get bad so easily. It is strong. It is thick. It is elastic. It high. It has high abrasion resistance, that it is resist friction, okay? As for the white coil, what are the properties of the white coil? It contains cellulose more than the brown coil, it's explained. 
because we said the white coat is gotten from a mature coconut. So it contains more cellulose, more than the brown coat. It is weaker, it is smoother and finer. Waterproof. What you know what is waterproof? It will not allow water to not penetrate at the surface, that the water will just stand at the surface of the fabric. It's resistant to sea water. The uses. Coil can be used in the manufacturing of various products, such as cordage. Cordage is the manufacturing of ropes and twine. Bed bedding in the production of mattresses. Okay, the production of ropes. The major use of coil is, as we said earlier, is mostly used in the production of ropes. Okay. This is um, some some ropes, some 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 ropes made out of of coil fiber. Flooring in the production of door mats, floor ties, carpets, rocks, packaging like sagging, like the bags, production of brooches. These are some products made out of coil fiber. You see our brooches. Hmm? These are watches made of coil fiber. This mostly we use in bathroom uh, to wash our carpets. Okay. These are some watches made of coil. Care and maintenance. But before that, so many so uses. I want us to look at some pictures, okay? Of the uses of coil. As I said, carpets. So that Beautiful carpets made out of, of coin. Look at hats, okay? Beautiful design hats made out of coin. Who can imagine that we can have such beautiful products made out of coin? This is a floor mat, okay? Like your entrance, you have this floor mat, this door mat made out of coin. So these are some products that are made out of coin fiber, okay? Now we can look at the care and maintenance of our coil. How do we care for our coil? For instance, we have we have seen those beautiful carpets made out of, of coil, those beautiful doormats made out of coil. How can we take care of it so that it will last long? Okay, so we look at the dry cleaning. Dry cleaning, we do it cleaning wet, uh, dry, without water. Okay, firstly, you have to sweep the mat with a broom or brush to remove debris or, evac or vacuum it. Those machines that you can just request and abstract, attract the, the dust, okay? So you first sweep your mat with a broom or a brush. Then when brushing it, you do it gently and slowly to avoid the mat fiber getting jammed or broken. So we are on dry cleaning, that is we, we take care of it without water. We do it dry just by you sweep, then you take your brush, your soft brush, then you brush it out. You do it gently so that the fibers will not jam. Okay, that is tangled or broken. Now the washing process. How can we wash our, our koi product as example our carpet? So you fill a bucket with water, with a liquid mild detergent or a hot shampoo. You shake to create a foam, okay? Then you use a fiber brush. What you do is that you soak in the foam only because you don't want to wet, okay? You soak it only on the foam and we scrub the mat by small areas. That is, you start here, you scrub back forward, okay? I know those, this action, we usually do it even with the carpet that is not made of coal. Mm -hmm. We usually do those that uh, action in our houses while right? taking care of our carpets. So you put on that foam, foamy water, just on the foam, and you scrub the area, small areas, back, front, left, and right. And your coil. You see, these are the actions that I was trying to explain. You see, here, yeah, this is he's doing the brushing there. Okay, yes, yeah, he's using his, his hand to do it. Okay, he's cleaning his, his carpet. That's the action I was trying to explain. So you can see with image, you relate more 
when you look at the images. You see, I was saying you brush, here it is brushing, okay, with a, with a fiber brush that is very not strong, eh? Fiber brush, it have to be soft. So that's what he's doing here, he's brushing. So that's the action. Okay, these are some those products made out of koi. Beautiful carpets, beautiful hats. Now, at least we have, uh, I'll give, do a, a, an exercise to see if we understood our lesson. So, I'm going to give a consolidation exercise that we'll do together. The first exercise, fill in the blank space with correct answer. A, fiber gotten from the coconut food is dash dash. We have palm, corn, kennel, husk. B, koi gotten from immature coconut, dash, brown koi, husk koi, white koi, or high koi. C, process of separating fibrous layer from the hard shell is the husking, writing, wet miling, hackling. The exercise two, will be the state four properties of brown koi fiber. Exercise three, state four uses of koi. We should start, start and think about the possible answer. So we are going to fill in the blank together. So try to think the possible answer and together we fill in the blanks and answer the questions. A. Fiber gotten from a coconut food is known as koi. B. Koi gotten from immature coconut is known as a white koi. Processing of separating fibrous layer from the hard shell is known as dehusking. Good. The exercise two was to give four properties of brown koi. Together with the answer, yes, contain high level of lignin, which prevent it from being easily dyed. Contain less cellulose than cotton and flax. Its resistance to degradation, it is thick. The third exercise was to give four uses of coal. The four uses, production of floor mats, production of watches, production of metras, Matrices, production of hopes and twines. Okay, now just to like summarize what we have been saying from the beginning about the koi fiber, which is also known as the coconut fiber. If you look at our diagram, as I was saying, this is our coconut, and we said coconut, we have two types of coconut. We have the green. Okay, the green horse will give us the white coconut. Okay, this is just to summarize what we have been saying about our coconut fiber. This is our coconut. This is the green horse, the dry horse. Okay, you see the white corn. We say we have two, two varieties, the white corn and the, the brown corn. Okay, now you see the white corn will produce us yarns. After we spin, we have our yarns that we use in the production of fishing nets. Why, why fishing net? We said it's resistant to sea water. So white coal are best for the production of fishing nets because it's resistant to sea water. Now we come to our brown coal. You see, brown coal is used as doormat. So if you want to produce your doormat or your mattresses, the brown coal will be the best. Okay? So the brown coal with the best. So you see, just summarize all about our our lesson, which was on coconut fiber or koi fiber. That said, I'll give you guys an assignment to do to take back home for the next lesson. So why coming? You come. You do your assignment. Don't come without doing your assignment. You do your assignment. The assignment is that you should 
We said vegetable fibers are gotten from plants. Example of vegetable fibers, cotton, flowers, and corn that we just, we just learned about today. So state, the assignment for you is to state three other vegetable fibers. Okay? You state three other vegetable fibers. Our next lesson will be on scissor fibers. I give you leave people with some references. Okay, that will help you to bottom your idea on coil fiber. Una tege si matege yop, una tege minga matege nyum, una tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, gani bana matege mut, gani la kiri watege ndong, esa kina bia jinkido, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia niña ne injo bia yen 